Hello everyone, welcome, my name's Ali, eh? thank you for tuning in for another video. Today we are indeed going to be talking more about Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, small bits of multiplayer, believe it or not, and also more details specifically on the future technology that's going to be used within Advanced Warfare single player. So I mentioned multiplayer, we've actually got very early on in the year a little piece of information, just a small piece of information regarding multiplayer, and that's the fact that Capture the Flag will indeed be coming back to multiplayer multiplayer we'll probably be getting a ton more information about multiplayer specifically in advanced warfare around august time so actually not that far away so definitely stay tuned for that but if you're a big fan of capture the flag that will indeed be returning which is awesome but jumping into some more information specifically within single player we've got details on as i said about a lot of the technology it's being used how it's been researched and how it's actually going to be implemented in a gameplay way for advanced warfare so first off we've got a name for the grenade that we've seen within some of the early gameplay clips already for Advanced Warfare. It's called a Threat Detection Grenade. And as we've seen from the gameplay from E3 this year, you can actually switch between uh, the mode of a grenade as you throw it. So it could be a frag grenade uh, or tactical grenade. And in this case, the Threat Detection Grenade, when thrown out, will locate enemies even if they're behind cover, which is very cool. Again, all single player specific. Now, on top of that, I noticed something small, and I wasn't sure if I should bring it up, but I thought, you know what, I heard it, I may as well share it with you guys. And that's the fact that during this little clip here, if you listen to the sound... And see somebody behind a wall. See where the enemies are. Now, to me, that sounded like a countdown, specifically a nuke countdown. Maybe there's some sort of nuke that you set off within this level. It does look as if you're trying to escape um, some sort of building. So perhaps you've gone into the building, set off some sort of explosive with a loud countdown, and then you're trying to escape. Not sure, but I heard it. Hadn't seen anybody else talk about it, so I thought I'd at least mention it so you guys could discuss it as well. On top of that, the barricade that we have seen in action uh, within the E3 gameplay for Advanced Warfare got detailed. It's called the Mobile Barricade. You can go up to it and sync with it, and once you've synced with it, uh, the actual barricade will lower and rise depending on what you're doing with your weapon. So once you're aiming down sight and shooting at someone, the barricade will drop, allowing you to shoot the enemies in front of you. And when you're reloading and the weapon's not in use, the barricade will raise so that you're covered and nobody can actually shoot at you. Uh, and it looks like it could be very useful for getting through certain missions on single player if there's a lot of enemies around you. On top of that, they mentioned that alongside hover bikes is actually going to be hover tanks. Pretty cool. Not going to lie, be a lot of fun, I'm sure, if we get to actually use them and actually ride around in them within campaign so that should be a lot of fun and we're going to move on to next the exoskeletons which we've talked about a lot because they're a huge focus of advanced warfare but we've got some very cool details in terms of how the additional abilities and movement abilities will work with these exoskeleton suits so they made it very clear the guys at search hammer games the guys that are developing advanced warfare that all of the technology um, involved in advanced warfare is plausible technology that would be available quite possibly in the near future so they've taken technology which is sort of like undercover development which is happening now that people won't necessarily know about and they've tried to expand upon it in a plausible way so that it's fitting into advanced warfare and it could actually be real technology that could be used in the future and exoskeleton suits is something we've been talking about a lot so uh, exoskeletons are a big focus we know they're going to be in single player and multiplayer because of the pre-order bonus. You can actually get like a metallic uh, sort of bronze colored exoskeleton suit as a pre-order bonus for multiplayer. Uh, and we don't know exactly how it's gonna work within multiplayer, but we have got additional details for single player. So we know you can get abilities like jumping further, running faster, cloaking, throwing people further as well, believe it or not. So bigger melee um, power, um, but they've actually detailed some of the names. So one of them is called Overdrive. And this overdrive exosuit, once applied and used, will make you go faster. But rather than moving around really, really quickly, uh, you actually have the rest of the world slowed down. So it's the same effect. Whether or not you're moving quicker or the enemies are moving slower, the same effect is happening. You've basically got more time to shoot at people or do whatever mission you want. So that's the overdrive exoskeleton suit. And by the sounds of it, you can only have one ability per suit within single player at least because they detailed another suit and this is called the exo boost suit and this gives you the ability to jump higher and all you need to do when activating it is literally press the jump button so you can then jump further jump higher 
and its simplicity. They detailed the fact that all of these abilities won't need lots of button combinations, they'll be easy to use, and that also makes me think that the fact that you can only apply one of these exoskeleton suits at a time um, is linked in with the fact that you would need way too many button combinations if you're going to have loads of these additional abilities all being used at one time. So. If this transfers over to multiplayer, again this is just guessing, I don't want to talk about multiplayer too much, we will be getting more details on that around August time, then I assume that perhaps in multiplayer, again you are only getting a certain amount of these abilities at one time when using these specific exoskeleton suits. So there you go guys, more information for you about Call of Duty Advanced Warfare coming this November 2014. Let me know what you guys are thinking of it so far. I'm waiting for multiplayer information, that's going to be the big game changer. If they're doing new stuff within multiplayer, hopefully it's done well. And it's going to be very interesting to see what they're doing. Of course, make sure you're staying tuned here for all of the latest news. On screen here, you can check out some more videos. Uh, also a video I tried to take on um, the mission of securing a load of money using the sniper within one of the new Battlefield games. And also videos over on my second channel. Do not miss out on them. So cheers for watching guys, thank you very much and I'll see you on my next video.